Well, I have finally made it to Picture the Rocks National Lakeshore. I've been trying to come out on this hike on a section of the North Country Trail for a couple years now, but not only am I really excited about this hike, but this is my first time coming to Michigan. So it was really cool to cross the state line yesterday and mark off my 49th out of 50 states. The last one I have left is Alaska. My goal was to make it to all 50 by the time I was 50. So I've got a few years to save up for that trip to Alaska now. We parked at the Munising Visitor Center and then we were shuttled to the other end. So this is a 42 mile stretch, which we will span out across five days, including today and four nights. I assume you could go whatever direction you wanted to, but it seems like just from some of the points of interest on the map that maybe the more notable features are towards that end. So you kind of save the best for last, I guess. All these little guys are struggling. Oh, that one got up. I don't know. Struggle. 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 <laughs> We're gonna call this Struggle Beach. I just wanna say we watched the sunset. And what time is it right now? 9.42. 9.42 p.m. and it's still this light out. Pretty light. There's the camera getting the remaining little little blurb. How is it almost 10 o'clock? I would lose my mind in Alaska with uh, strange times for daylight. Because this is, this is wigging me out. I've never seen it this <laughs> bright at almost 10 p.m. anywhere. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. As usual, it was worth it. You talking? Ganging up on us. They smell breakfast.
in here somewhere is a shipwreck and I think I kind of see can't tell if it's rock or part of an old ship under the water but this is the SS Gale Staples shipwreck apparently there have been a lot of shipwrecks around this point in Lake Superior if you look way out there we think that's a boat first one we've seen that's not in the water anyway like under the water <laughs> It is cold this morning. The rain came in and washed all of the heat away. I think today the high is supposed to be in the lower 50s. Tomorrow we'll be back in the 60s, so I'm going to soak it in like an alligator. But this trail is awesome. It's easy terrain. With all the wind that blew in, bringing in the storm, the water is a lot more choppy and there are more waves so it sounds like I'm at the beach maybe like the Pacific or something you could make yourself believe that because you can't see anything as far as the eye can see on the horizon uh, and it looks like waves like the ocean sounds like the ocean doesn't smell like it though so but it is very peaceful and this terrain has just been a dream no crazy uphills or downhills just very cruisy and relaxing and you can actually look around and enjoy the forest. A pretty good little healthy snack is a that's it bar with some of this Justin's almond butter and you just squeeze it on there and eat them together just like this doesn't look so appetizing but it's good this is proof that the aliens are real because that's the only logical explanation of how <laughs> this got right here You think it had heat only? I see vents. I would imagine. I have no idea what your model this would be. I don't either. I wonder if it's still, if we could find the vent number on it somewhere. <laughs> Maybe on the door. Yeah. Some slight wear and tear. It's like a bug treadmill.
Let's talk about the Duplex L. So far, I really like it. It functions and sets up pretty much the same as the Duplex and the Triplex by Z-Packs that I've used in the past, but the Duplex L has more usable floor space because of two little stays, I guess you would call them, that are on the outside of the tent and the head and the foot area. So it kind of props that material up and helps to give you more usable space because you don't have the slope of the wall laying on your head or laying on your sleeping bag and getting it damp. And I'm 5'8", but the duplex does usually get my foot box area of my quilt or sleeping bag damp because it's a single wall tent. It does collect condensation. And while it flows down into the netting around the tent, if my feet touch the wall, then of course it's gonna get some condensation. But with this tent, I have not had my feet touch the wall yet. I've not had the wall lay on my head while I'm trying to sleep and scooting up, trying to keep my feet off the other wall. And Marty being 6'2 has also not had that issue on this trip. So I definitely think they helped solve a problem with this new design. The only trade-off, because there are always trade-offs, is when I'm packing the tent up, it's not as simple as just cramming it all in the stuff sack. And I'm sure there's a way that you can fold it and it's supposed to make it easy, but I like to just stuff my shelter in the stuff sack. So I have to be careful with those little stays. I put one in and then I'll kind of cram material around it. And when I find the other one eventually, I ease it in on the wall of the stuff sack and then cram the rest of the material in there. So it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, I would rather spend a little more time packing up than having my quilt be damp, especially when I'm in colder temperatures and double, especially if I was using a down quilt or sleeping bag. All in all, I do like it as a replacement for my regular duplex that it was time to replace anyway. Uh, I don't regret not getting just a straight out duplex and I'm happy that I have the duplex L. I will definitely continue to use the duplex L as a single person tent when I go out backpacking on my own. Okay, but you're kind of limping. Yeah. Kind of limping. Right. Is it so slow on this morning? I think most, if not all of these campsites have privies. And I didn't really know what to expect from a privy out here. Figured something pretty nice. <laughs> this is it. So right here, somebody could just walk up on you, thankfully. Well, I guess thankfully. Uh, they'd see your back instead of you spraddled out, you know, facing the trail. So that's nice. But, um, yeah, at first I was kind of like, well, this is new and um you know i'm always for trying new things but uh you know once you try it out you kind of feel like a king or a queen sitting upon a throne looking out at your kingdom so i'm just saying don't knock it till you try it. you look so small next to that
Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? <laughs> it's so pretty, I can't get over it. And this is awesome right now because the trail is following so closely beside the water that you just get a view the whole walk and you don't have to work hard for it. I think it's getting stuff for a nest, maybe? Apparently, that hawk or whatever it is was just fighting with the seagulls. Went in their nest, I guess, to get their babies. sunset on the beach. So far, this new pack, the Adam Packs the Mo, is working out for me. I really like the colors, but of course, because I picked them out. And it does carry the weight of five days of food and camera gear pretty well. I also feel like it's more durable 
than some of the other lightweight packs I've had. It just seems like it could take a, a scrubbing and beating a little bit more, which is good for through hiking. And also I noticed when we got rained on the other day that my stuff on the inside of the pack was not wet, but it is nice to have redundancy. You never know when you can poke a hole in a pack or something like that, but just knowing that water doesn't pour through super easily is reassuring. The cup holders on either side are a nice size and I really like that you can cinch down the cup holder so you can grab a hold of whatever's in there if maybe you only have one bottle of water or with me I have a tripod on one side so it's nice being able to cinch down and make sure that that stuff that's top heavy doesn't flip out. The pockets are not quite as big as I've had on some of my other packs or maybe it's not how big they are but how they're designed they kind of have a, a lip on the top part above the zipper and so it's like not as much depth whereas if the zipper were right on the top of the bridge line of that pocket then I think things would fit in there better but I tend to overstuff my pockets with little cameras and sometimes this gimbally thing also I prefer packs that have loops on the bottom where you can strap your tent or other shelter uh, to the bottom of the pack. This pack doesn't have that. I don't know if it's something you could request. It wasn't right on the website to request it. But with that said, I do like the closure on the top of this pack. It's like a, a Y closure. So if you did strap the shelter to the top of the pack, it would hold onto it better than say my Ohm 2.0 made by ULA packs, because that's just one straight strap and it tends to kind of wiggle out of there and ends up falling off in the middle of the day. But all in all, it's a good pack. I don't know that it's worth the price difference necessarily for me between my ULA Ohm 2.0 and this pack, but I'll ponder on it some more and I'll do a full on pack review on this pack once I get back home. Don't be scared. You look fuzzy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, be free, little guys. Be free. It's got, it's got little spikes. It's a little boy, yeah. You're a cute boy. Yeah. You really intimidated me with your stomp. Honestly, on the last day of a trip, I'm usually more excited than sad because I'm ready for food and a shower and an actual bed. And while I am excited for those things today, when I woke up, I was actually more sad than happy that it was about to be over. And I think that this trail has just been really kind of magical. I mean, you Michiganders have something to be proud of up here. <laughs> with this being part of your state but it's just been incredible and so diverse one day you're looking at all of the beautiful rocks along a shoreline and that's the prettiest thing for the day and the next day it's the vast expanse and the rock formations in the distance and even in the water the different rock formations and the beauty of the water itself and how clear it is it's been breathtaking and just wondering what am I gonna see today 
was really exciting, but all good things must come to an end and there's another beautiful hike somewhere that needs to be walked.